37 years old at the start of the season, won the MVP award back in 2016. Let's bring in our former Super Bowl champion, the two-time Super Bowl champ, Bryant McFadden. BMAC, what's your take on the Colts upgrading from Wentz to Matt Ryan? I love it, Chris. I love this move. For both parties, especially the Indianapolis Colts, when you look at the balance they have on their team on both sides, look at the offensive line play, a proven number one running back in Jonathan Taylor. I mean, the structure clearly is there. It's in place. And think about this, Chris. Phillip Rivers, old man Phillip Rivers, over a year ago, led this team to the playoffs. Phil Rivers is not mo uh, mobile. He's not athletic. He's a guy that's just a pocket passer, similar to what we see from Matt Ryan. So because of the success we saw from Phillip Rivers, one would think Matt Ryan can, prov can provide the same type of success. This is a playoff caliber team. The reason they did not make the playoffs a year ago, Chris, was because their quarterback let them down in the final week of the season. So me personally, seeing everything that they have in place offensively, along with getting a former MVP, a franchise-like quarterback in Matt Ryan, you have to love the move today by the Indianapolis Colts. And have to think that they have the best quarterback in the division right now. Their odds to win the division plus 125. What do you think of the fact that that is, is still a little bit behind the favorites in the Tennessee Titans? I'm okay with that because I do believe and agree with, with what you just said. You know, I think Matt Ryan is the best co uh, quarterback in this division. And if you can get money right now on the Colts with those odds, take it and run with it. The unique thing about this situation and why I believe Matt Ryan will flourish in this offense, the structure in the running game. The last time Matt Ryan had a thousand yard rusher was 2016. You remember who that running back was? Devontae Freeman. Wow. It's been that long since he ha he's had re a reliable running game to take some of the pressure off his plate. Guess what? He walks into Indy, he got JT waiting for him, hmm. smiling from ear to ear. And you better believe Matty Ice is smiling as well because for, one, for once in his career over the last five years or so, he can actually hand the football off to a dynamic playmaker and allow him to do what he's been called to do and then make, pass, make timely plays in the passing game when he's given his opportunity. What about for the Falcons? What's next for them? And uh, there are reports that Marcus Mariota could be the guy that they target to go after and uh, maybe start next season. I love that move because I think if you go out and get a guy like Marcus, you're basically, you know, not saying that he is the answer for years to come, but he can kind of, you know, keep some things contained to say the least. The Falcons need a lot, Chris. They don't have any wide receivers. The offensive line play has been inconsistent and defensively not knowing exactly what they will be able to add based on the cap issues. Now they will have more money available with this trade happening today, but getting a guy like Marcus who's trying to prove to the NFL world that he is a starter is a nice move for Atlanta. And I think it's a better situation in having Marcus in a Falcons uniform than Matt Ryan because Marcus can make things happen with his legs whenever the offensive line break down. And over years past, we know that offensive line there in ATL will break down from time to time. We have never seen quarterback movement quite like this in the NFL. You said you love this for the Colts, Matt Ryan going to Indianapolis. What's your favorite quarterback move of the offseason so far? I mean, I, obviously, you know, you have to like what Russell did going to Denver, Deshaun going to Cleveland. That was the unthinkable. Um, but me personally, I mean, I love all of these moves. I'm not hyped about the commanders getting Carson Wentz. But I'll say this. Let me throw this Matt Ryan move into the equation, and I'm taking this as my favorite move, and here's why. I think they have the best chance to be the Cincinnati Bengals of 2022, Chris. Hmm. The reason why I say that, and what I mean when I say that is, of course, go back to a year ago this time. No one thought Cincinnati would have an opportunity to make a deep postseason run, better yet, get into a Super Bowl. But because of what happened in the structure, they caught fire at the right time. They were able to prove a lot of people wrong. I think the Colts have the same thing in place. The only thing they were missing was a quarterback, a smart, efficient quarterback. Everything else they have, balance, they have. Defensive balance, they have. They have money available. And get this, they're only paying Matt Ryan $24 million this year. They still have enough cap dollars to go out and to improve their team. So I think based on what they did today and based on their division, the AFC South is safe to say it's only a two-team race. It's a two-team division. It's the Colts and the Tennessee Titans. And I love both teams and the moves they've made, but I think the Colts have an opportunity 
to be the Cincinnati Bengals of 2022. And because of that, this is my favorite quarterback move Mm. because I believe this move can get this team far, further than the Denver Broncos because of their division, further than Cleveland and Deshaun Watson because of their division. And if you look at what happened last year with Cincinnati, remember, no one thought they had a shot. I think the coach can do the same thing this year in 2022. Now, added Matt Ryan. Yeah, what were the what were the Bengals last year to win the AFC? 75 to one, I think, and 150 to one to win the Super Bowl. The Colts Super Bowl yeah. odds have moved from 30 to one before the Matt Ryan trade to 25 to one. Still, though, uh, just barely in the top 12 in the NFL. How do you evaluate where they're at at plus 2500? I think it's fair, and I think if you, for for the betters that are tuning in right now, throw something on the Colts. Think about this. Look at the Colts roster right now. They have everything in place. place. I do believe they they need to add a veteran wide receiver. Who knows? Maybe reunite Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. You know, there are some other pass catchers still available, but bringing in some more depth at that position is imperative. The same can be said in the secondary, bringing in another proven commodity in the secondary, but everything else is in place. The thing I love about the Colts and looking at these odds, plus 2,500, it's their division. It is their division. The Broncos' division is extremely tough. The Browns, tough division. The Chargers, tough division. Division. 49ers, Rams, all the usual suspects, they have a tougher task within their division than the Indianapolis Colts. And I love this, just the AFC South alone. We all should go to the window right now. (laughs) If you're not by a window, go to your phone and get on your app. Put something on this right now, plus 125, along with all the money they still have available to make some key additions to either side of the football field, yes, the Colts right now is my sleeper pick, Mm. not just to win the AFC South, but like I said, to make a deep run similar to what we saw from the 2021 Cincinnati Bengals. 25-1 to to win the Super Bowl. BMAC says run to a window, sprinkle a little something on that. So far, Matt Ryan to the Colts is BMAC's favorite quarterback move of this offseason. You can hear BMAC and his cuz, Patrick Peterson, on the All Things Covered podcast. Download and follow. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.